Scene Script Have you ever thought about starting your own online e-commerce business? Picture this. You're the boss of your own venture, selling products that you're passionate about and making money while you sleep. That's the power and potential of e-commerce. In today's digital age, e-commerce is not just a buzzword, it's a profitable way of doing business. It offers an incredible opportunity for entrepreneurs to create, grow and manage their own online store from anywhere in the world. The beauty of e-commerce is that it levels the playing field. It doesn't matter if you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, with the right knowledge and tools, anyone can dive into this world of endless opportunities. But how do you start an e-commerce business? Well, that's exactly what we're here to explore. We'll guide you through the whole process from finding your niche to marketing your products. If this sounds exciting to you, stick around as we break down the process into easy to follow steps. Scene Script First things first, you need to identify your niche. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, your niche is your specific corner of the market. It's the area where your products or services shine, where you can offer something unique and compelling to a particular group of customers. Finding your niche is like finding your home in the vast world of e-commerce. But how do you discover this promised land? Start by aligning your niche with your interests. Ask yourself, what am I passionate about? What gets me excited? Because let's face it, launching an online business requires dedication, and it's going to be a whole lot easier if you're working with something you love. Next, consider market demand. It's great to be passionate about 17th century French poetry, but if there's no market for it, your e-commerce venture might not take off. So do your research. Look for trends and patterns in consumer behavior. Use tools like Google Trends or social media platforms to see what's gaining traction. Once you've got a few potential niches in mind, it's time to evaluate. Think about competition. If your niche is swamped with big name brands, it might be tough to make your mark. But if it's too obscure, you might struggle to find customers. Aim for a balance, a niche that's just right. Also, consider profitability. Some niches might have a high demand but low profit margins, while others might be the reverse. Make sure your niche can bring in enough revenue to sustain and grow your business. Lastly, test your ideas. Launch a small campaign or a survey to gauge interest in your niche. The feedback you receive can provide valuable insights and help you refine your niche selection. Identifying your niche might seem like a daunting task but remember, it's an essential step in building your online empire. It's about carving out your own space in the market where your products can shine and your business can thrive. Remember, a well-chosen niche can set the stage for your e-commerce success. Once you've chosen your niche, it's time to source your products. This is a crucial step on your e-commerce journey. But don't worry, we're going to demystify the process. There are three popular methods for sourcing products, drop shipping, wholesaling, and creating your own products. Let's break down each one. Dropshipping is a business model where you sell products directly from the manufacturer or supplier. The beauty of dropshipping is that you don't need to maintain any inventory. You simply take the order, forward it to your supplier, and they ship the product directly to your customer. But, there's a flip side. Dropshipping often has lower profit margins, and you have less control over shipping times and product quality. Next up, wholesaling. This involves buying products in bulk from a manufacturer or supplier and then reselling them. The advantage of wholesaling is that you can negotiate lower prices for large quantities which can lead to higher profit margins. However, you'll need a place to store your inventory and upfront capital to buy the products. Lastly, creating your own products. This method gives you the most control over quality, pricing and branding. You can create a unique product that stands out in the market. But keep in mind, this method requires a significant time and financial investment. You'll need to consider production costs, material sourcing, and potentially hiring staff. Each of these methods has its own pros and cons. Dropshipping is a great option if you're looking to start with minimal investment. Wholesaling can lead to higher profits but requires more upfront capital. And creating your own products can give you a unique edge in the market, but requires a significant investment of time and resources. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Your choice will depend on various factors such as your budget, time commitment, and business model. Choosing the right sourcing method will depend on your budget, time commitment, and business model. It's about finding the balance that works best for you and your e-commerce vision. Now that you've got your products, let's build your online store. 
In the digital marketplace, your website is not just a platform to showcase your products, but it's also the face of your brand. It's the first point of contact for potential customers, and you know what they say about first impressions. A professional and user-friendly website can make all the difference. It can attract customers and most importantly, entice them to stay, browse, and buy. It's your virtual salesperson working around the clock. So, it's crucial to have a website that's not only aesthetically pleasing but also easy to navigate and efficient. Now building a website might sound daunting, especially if you're not tech savvy. But don't worry, there are several e-commerce platforms out there designed to make this process as smooth as possible. These platforms provide a range of templates, tools and features that can help you create a stunning and functional online store even if you've never written a line of code in your life. Let's talk about some of these platforms. Shopify is a popular choice, known for its simplicity and ease of use. It offers a variety of templates and an intuitive interface making it a great option for beginners. Next up we have WooCommerce. It's a WordPress plugin which means if you're already familiar with WordPress, you'll find it pretty straightforward. It's highly customizable and has a robust set of features, perfect for those who want a bit more control over their site's design and functionality. And then there's Magento. It's a bit more complex but it's extremely powerful and flexible, ideal for larger businesses with a wide range of products. Each of these platforms has its pros and cons, and the right one for you will depend on your specific needs, budget, and technical skills. So, take some time to explore your options and choose the one that best fits your business. Remember, your website is your online storefront, so make it count. It's not just about selling products, it's about providing an experience. So create a website that reflects your brand, engages your visitors, and turns them into loyal customers. Your store is ready, but how do you get customers? This is where marketing comes into play, the heartbeat of your e-commerce business. Without it, your store is like a ship lost in the vast ocean of the internet. But fear not, we'll navigate through the basics of e-commerce marketing strategies to ensure your store stands out. Firstly, let's talk about SEO, or search engine optimization. This is your compass guiding the right customers to your digital doorstep. By optimizing your product descriptions, titles, and website content with relevant keywords, you increase your chances of appearing in the search results when potential customers are looking for products like yours. But SEO isn't the only tool in your marketing toolbox. There's also social media marketing. Platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter aren't just for sharing cute cat photos. They're powerful channels to showcase your products, engage with customers, and build your brand identity. In fact, a well-placed post or ad can be the beacon that draws in a whole new wave of customers. And let's not forget about email marketing. It's like a message in a bottle delivered straight into your customer's inbox. It's a direct line of communication, ideal for sharing special offers, announcing new products, or simply keeping your brand at the forefront of their minds. With a carefully crafted subject line and engaging content, you can turn a casual browser into a loyal customer. But remember, each of these strategies is like a different sail on your ship. Alone, they can move you forward, but together, they can propel you at full speed. That's why a multi-channel marketing approach is essential. It ensures you're reaching customers wherever they are, whether that's scrolling through social media, searching on Google, or checking their emails. So, set your course, adjust your sales, and prepare to embark on the exciting voyage of marketing your e-commerce business. Remember, it's not just about reaching as many people as possible, but about reaching the right people, at the right time, with the right message. Effective marketing is key to driving traffic and converting visitors into customers. Starting your e-commerce business is just the beginning. It's like planting a seed. The real work begins when it's time to nurture the sprout into a flourishing tree. Customer service becomes your watering can, essential in maintaining the trust and satisfaction of your buyers. Regular website updates are the sunlight, keeping your platform fresh and relevant in a fast-paced digital world. Your continuous marketing efforts? They're the nutrients in the soil, driving growth and attracting new customers. And remember, the e-commerce landscape is ever-changing, like seasons in a year. To thrive, you need to learn, adapt and evolve with the trends. Just as a gardener doesn't stop tending to their garden after planting the seeds, you can't stop nurturing your e-commerce business after the launch. It's an ongoing process, a journey of constant growth and improvement. Remember, the key to e-commerce success is persistence and continuous improvement. Now you have a basic roadmap to start your own e-commerce business. 
we've unlocked the steps from identifying your niche, sourcing your products, building your site, marketing your brand, to maintaining your venture's growth. Remember, the path to success is paved with action. So, get out there, apply these insights, and carve out your piece of the e-commerce pie. Don't wait for the perfect moment, start your e-commerce journey today. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more helpful content like this.